In this question, we are asked that how many times must a man toss a fair coin so that the probability of having at least one head is more than 90%. This again is binomial probability problem but in this case the total number of trials is unknown. In fact, we want to find the total number of trials so that probability of having at least one head is more than 90% or in probability terms we can say it should be more than 0.9. Here each trial has two possible outcomes. One is head and another one is tail and because the coin is a fair coin probability of head will be equals to half and that will be equals to probability of tail also. Now we want to find probability of having at least one head and this should be greater than 0.9. When we talk about event at least one head we may have exactly one head or exactly two heads or up to exactly n heads. So there are lot of cases in such situation it is easier to consider complement of the event. So this I can write as probability of at least one edge will be equals to 1 minus probability of the complement that is no heads and this should be greater than 0 0.9. Now probability of no heads I can write as 1 minus n c 0 because the number of outcomes for h is 0 then probability for getting h 1 by 2 raised to the power number of outcomes for head into probability for getting tail raised to the power number of outcomes for tail and that will be n because we are not getting any heads so all of them should be tails and this should be greater than 0 0.9 this implies 1 minus nc0 will be 1 1 by 2 to the power 0 will also be 1 so I am left with 1 by 2 raised to the power n greater than 0 0.9 this gives me 1 minus 0 0.9 greater than 1 by 2 raised to the power n. I have taken 0 0.9 on the left side and minus 1 by 2 to the power n on the right hand side. So this gives me 1 minus 0 0.9 is 0 0.1 greater than 1 by 2 to the power n. I can cross multiply so I get 2 to the power n greater than and this 0 0.1 I can bring on the right side 1 divided by 0 0.1 that implies 2 to the power n greater than 10. So now I will have to find the least value of n for which 2 to the power n is greater than 10. Here I know that when n is 3 2 to the power n that is 2 to the power 3 is 8 and 8 is not greater than 10. If I take n equals to 4 2 to the power 4 is 16 and I know 16 is greater than 10. So n equals to 4 is the smallest value of n for which 2 to the power n is greater than 10. So I will have to toss the coin at least 4 times then probability of getting at least one head will be greater than 90 percent. 